Today we observe the spiritual protocol in Psalm 24, verse 1 to 10, for our prayers. There are three basic spiritual protocols in the psalm. The first is in verse 1 and 2, which is the acknowledgement of the sovereignty of God over his creation. The second is in verse 3 to 6, which is presentation of ourselves to God for cleansing. And the third is commanding the gates, the forces of nature to lift up their heads and to cooperate with our destiny. And so the first protocol, we acknowledge your Lordship, O Lord, over us. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Lord, you are the creator. You created everything. You created us as the peak of your creation. We recognize your sovereignty over us. The life we have came from you. All that we need to sustain the life came from you. All we would ever need is already in your hand. And so we bow before you. We bring you honor. We bring you appreciation. And Lord, with the enormity of your goodness to us, we still sin against you. We disobey. We are filthy. We are not clean. Your word says that uh, the best of our righteousness is a filthy rag before you. And so, we present ourselves for cleansing from verse, te- verse 3 of Psalm 24. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. And so, Lord, we present ourselves for cleansing, spirit, soul, and body. Please cleanse us from all that desecrate us, all that make us filthy. Cleanse us, purge us with his soap, and make us clean, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And now, Lord, because we are cleansed by the blood of your Son, Jesus, we decree this week, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Verse 9, lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. And so we decree that the forces of nature we cooperate with your purpose for our lives. Doors of plenty, doors of promotion, doors of progress will be lifted for us in the name of Jesus. No power will resist your agenda for our lives. We are making progress. We are advancing. Our callings, our ministries, our children, our finances, advancing and moving to the next level no limitation no hindrance in the name of the lord jesus and so lord we decree this will be our portion from the morning of this week to the noon of this week and to the night of this week thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray amen amen and amen